Hey everyone, my name is Bavin and welcome to Pokelosophy. Pokelosophy is my YouTube channel where I try to teach life and philosophy through the help of Pokemon. I think the original Pokemon games are great metaphors for life and there's a lot that we can learn from these games and practice in these games that we can apply back to our own lives. So, I am in the midst of training my Pokemon. One of my rules for Pokelosophy is to have at least six of my Pokemon at the same level uh, before I leave a city. So, that strategy has really helped uh, Vermilion City because I just power through that level and now I'm just training up a bunch of Pokemon in the grass fields. I already versed a lot of these trainers. A lot of Bell Sprouts. I didn't, I don't recall because I know in Pokemon Red you can't catch a Bell Sprout, but a lot of these trainers have Bell Sprouts. So, anyways, that's just a weird observation that I kind of noticed. So, yeah, I've just been mostly training and I wanted to actually discuss training and a quote that or at least an individual that I think has really made a big impact in my life. And his name is uh, Faraz Zahabi. And most of you don't know him, but he's actually George, George uh, St. Pierre's uh, fitness trainer and MMA coach when he was at his prime. And I think he's one of the smartest trainers that is not a household name. This man understands philosophy. He understands struggle. He understands tactics and pragmatism for how to train towards your goals and it's not just for fighting i think a lot of the lessons he says if you watch his interview with joe rogan highly recommend it that interview actually changed my life when it when it comes to uh how i train in the gym it, it really changed my mindset but his mindset's about playing and one of the things he mentions in the interview is that a lot of the russian wrestlers that he tried to take from them and apply to his own students is that when you're training just play don't go full out. This is not about, you know, who's better, who's who's weaker. Just have fun because you learn more by having fun. And on that point, one of the quotes he says is, when you go to the mat, hang your ego at the door, hang your emotions at the door, just go learn. And I've been really trying to imbibe that mindset and pay attention to, oh, perfect timing, how I train. One of the things I have a habit of doing, especially when I'm training uh, Diglett, I immediately go to dig and it's just impulse, I'm not even thinking about it. It's a great OP move against a lot of Pokemon, but it's really bad against Sparrows because it's a bird Pokemon and ground Pokemon are not good against bird Pokemon and it's, a, and it's a ground move, so it won't work. So I've actually gotten damage like, like this over here from purely just overreacting and not being present in the moment with my training. And this is important because I think when you train, you, you still have to take it a little seriously, but still have fun at the same time. And that's something I've been practicing with with with, uh, with training Pokemon that I'm also trying to t take into the gym as well. It's a bit of an introspection uh, enlightenment that I had with doing this is that even though I'm playing and not going full out at the gym, I'm, I still have to be fully present with what I'm doing and have fun. And that's how I approach training with Pokemon. I don't listen to a podcast when I'm training. I'm trying to stay as very present as possible. And it's repetitive and boring, I understand that but it's amazing what you can learn by just being in a playful state. As you can see, I'm, I'm moving slower towards my, my move options. But yeah, that's the lesson I wanna share. It's a very quick one. I'm in the midst of trying to evolve this Diglett into a Doug Trio, which is actually happening right now. Good timing. I didn't plan that, I swear to God. <laughs> and we got a Doug Trio. I always find it weird that there's like three of them that put there together. Like I forget the story about like why they do that and how they evolve. I also, I also found that weird. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for joining me for today's episode of Pokelosophy. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, uh, have a uh, give a like, and subscribe to the channel if you if you already haven't. Have a good one.